The chief guest at this year's Republic Day Parade will be Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro. Bolsonaro is among the new wave of right-wing hardline politicians produced by the growing opposition to internationalism like Donald Trump and Boris Johnson. Bolsonaro has made headlines more for his controversial comments rather than his politics. His crude remarks against opponents have led to him being labeled as the Donald Trump of Brazil. Senhora, eu sou favorável à tortura, tu sabe disso. E o povo é favorável a isso também. Mas essa imagem é a imagem que a população tem, né? Culpa, né? Através do voto, você não vai mudar nada nesse país. Ah? Nada, absolutamente nada. Você só vai mudar, infelizmente, quando um dia nós partimos para uma guerra civil aqui dentro. Né? E fazendo um trabalho que o regime militar não fez, matando os 30 mil. Começando com o FHC. Não deixar para fora, não. Matando. Se vai morrer alguns inocentes... He once said that he wouldn't rape an opposition politician because, in his words, she was ugly and not worth his time. He has also reported to have made several homophobic and racist remarks in the past. Rejecting homosexuality, he is once reported to have said that he would be incapable of loving a homosexual son and it would be better if he died in a car crash. Bolsonaro is also reported to have made derogatory comments about Africans settled in Brazil, saying they do nothing, they're not even good for procreation. However, Bolsonaro remains popular among the conservative Christian population. A former military officer, Bolsonaro served for 17 years in the armed forces before switching to politics. He won a landslide victory in October 2018 and took office in January 2019. Not only his comments, but some of his policies as president are considered deeply divisive as well. He has been accused of pushing development at the cost of the environment. He is reported to have opened up the Amazon rainforest for mining, which is causing resentment among the local populace and environmentalists. Data shows that during his stint as president, deforestation in the Amazon has increased significantly. Brazil and India have cordial relations, and both are members of several multinational groups like the BRICS, IBSA and the G20. In India, Bolsonaro's delegation comprises over 80 top businessmen and several top ministers. Apart from trade, both countries will discuss cooperation in areas such as energy, agriculture and defence. <laughs>